Ah, Halley's Comet. The darling of the solar system, among countless of its brethren. Halley is brighter and more picturesque than most, and with an average 75-year period, it really is a once-in-a-lifetime sight for a large majority of us. If you were old enough to really appreciate Halley's last appearance in 1986, the odds are pretty good that you won't be around to see it again in 2061. Although, by then, we could all be living for 200 years, so who in the hell really knows? But will the comet itself last long enough to show off for any immortal humans in the far future? Despite being named for Edmund Halley, who first predicted its periodic return in 1705, the comet has been seen and described by humans for more than 2,000 years. The ancient Chinese documented it, Norman conquerors put it on the Bayou Tapestry, and even Genghis Khan may have used the comet as a signal from the heavens. Some in the scientific and theological worlds think that it might have even been the Star of Bethlehem in the biblical telling of Christ's birth. Every few years, more vague evidence in ancient texts seems to indicate that people have been recording its appearance longer than previously thought. Thought. The comet's enormous tail, or coma, as the science nerds call it, that comes with every approach to the inner solar system illustrates that the comet is losing a lot of material to sublimation from the sun's warmth. The coma extends up to 100 million kilometers away from the comet's nucleus, and it's made up of a combination of gases and dust. The coma is so large that the Earth still passes through the stream of particles left over from Halley's previous tours twice a year, and were treated to the Ida Aquarian meteor shower in May and the Orionid shower in October. David W. Hughes wrote a paper in 1984 in which he estimated that Halley's nucleus diameter is 9.4 kilometers, and that it loses 200 centimeters from the diameter with every approach to the sun. It may pick up a tiny bit of dust further out in the solar system, but not enough to matter. So, at that rate, Halley would completely disappear in about 2300 more approaches, or roughly 170,000 years. But Halley's orbit is somewhat chaotic. According to the March 2015 issue of Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, a simulation determined that there is a 90% chance that the comet will survive the next 100,000 years. After that, the likelihood increases that the comet will either collide with something else or be ejected from the solar system when it brushes a little bit too close to Saturn or Jupiter. But that simulation didn't account for the gradual reduction in the comet's mass, which means that less gravity is required to change its course. In a 70-plus year orbit that extends roughly out to poor Pluto, even tiny movements become big differences over the span of a few laps. Virtually everyone in the scientific world seems to agree that we can only really guess what the distant future looks like for Halley's Comet, but also that nothing is likely to happen anytime soon. By the time the comet is at significant risk of being destroyed somewhere in deep space or flung out into the frozen universe, it will likely have shrunk to a point where it's just another dim body in the night sky, like billions and billions and billions of other objects. So, if you plan to be alive in 2061 for Halley's next return, soak it up while you can. If you plan to be alive in 170,000 years to see what eventually happens to the poor thing, I might recommend that you stop eating so much cheese. If you found this video titillating, tell someone about it. Or just like and subscribe for more from the Wild AC channel. Thanks for watching.